fever management. So the idea of the body getting a fever is to actually kill the pathogen. Oh. Yeah, so a fever is a really good sign, but you do need to be careful about what is a um, suitable temperature. So the body normally sits at 37 degrees. When you get a virus or a bacterial infection, if you're vital enough, so a fever is, is really a sign of vitality. Kids get fevers, kids are really vital. So what I mean by vitality is, you know, look at the whites of people's eyes, look at the skin colour. A vital person is someone who bounces back really quickly from illness, someone who, um, you know, good colour gums and, um, like I said, good colour skin. Vitality in kids is very high and the ability to manifest a fever is, a, is definitely a sign of good vitality. So you, you, everyone will know someone who says, you know what, um, that person never gets sick, I can't believe it. So not such a good thing because you're probably looking more at this chronic low grade illness. A good cold and flu once a year is actually a really good sign. Getting the body to, to produce a fever is, is signs that the body's working perfectly. So when you go out and you try to suppress the fever, you're actually going against what the body's trying to do to kill the pathogen. So be aware of that as well. If children, different story altogether. I'm not even going to um, go into that discussion. You really have to be careful with kids when they, um, and watch the fever and make sure it's not getting dangerously high because it can be a serious um, event.